Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a very easy to follow Android lock screen setup that truly looks amazing. It's one of a kind, it's very minimal, so let us begin. Great everyone, so like I said today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing looking Android lock screen. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Here it is, it's titled iOS 8X by the author Rabrot. Well this is the lock screen part of his theme, the rest will be part of Thema that will be released hopefully soon. So if you have a closer look, it's got your time and your date there that looks really awesome and minimal there. As well as some text at the bottom that if I read it, it says touch the image above to unlock the phone. Which I think is pretty cool because now you can replace that image with whatever you want. And of course if you select it, it will unlock your phone and then there it is. So if you'd like to set up that amazing looking lock screen, then let's begin with today's tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. So first off will definitely be Widget Locker and that's simply because that's the lock screen app that we'll be using and it's amazing, you definitely have to go try it out. Next will be Super Widget Pro and that's all the widgets that you currently saw on the lock screen. So definitely recommend the Pro version because with the free version you can't get custom templates. Next up or lastly will be a good file explorer. I always recommend ES File Explorer simply because it's free and very easy to use. Great, so once you've got all your apps down and downloaded onto your phone, you want to check in the link in the description below that comes with a download link that you can either download onto your computer and extract or just download directly onto your phone and extract it from there using a file extraction software that comes with, say, ES File Explorer. Great, so you've got your folder on your phone. Let me just open up my folder right here and I've extracted it, there it is, iOS 8X. So if you open it right now, it should come with all the various resources that you'll be needing, and the only ones that you need to be moving are the ones that end in .zw because those are the Zupa widget files. So you just need to select both of them like this. You can go into your more here, or you can just cut and paste them into this specific folder, but I always find this easier. If you select move to, or you can select copy to, and you go to your main SD card directory, look for Zupa widget, Go into your templates folder and then select OK and from here you can just paste both of them into that specific location and then Super Widget will know where to find them. Great, so that's your apps and resources complete. Now we can move on to editing our widget locker settings. Great, so we're going to be jumping into widget locker right now. If you open it up, it should look pretty different than what it's going to look later on. But all you have to do is remove any widgets that you have currently on your lock screen. You just need to hold down on them, select remove, or you can just drag them into the bin below. Once that's done, we're going to select this little icon here at the top right hand side. And that will bring us up into our widget locker settings. Make sure that it's on, otherwise of course it will never work. And from here we can jump right into our look and feel settings. Next up we want to be selecting alternative wallpaper as this will now enable us to select our own custom wallpaper and from here you want to go into your preferred gallery. Now all you have to do is to find that folder that you've copied onto your phone that comes with this awesome looking winter wallpaper and just pretty much just resize it however you want. Try and get that little tree in the middle like that and select OK. Once you have your wallpaper down, you are welcome to select your background tint and it does look pretty neat if you do make it somewhat tinted, say go for roughly there looks pretty good. So it's always up to you, but I think that looks pretty good. If you go into our layout right now, and if you haven't configured this anchor, make sure to drag it all the way to the bottom, deselect automatically determine grid size, and bump it up. Pretty much, I always find that a 12 by 12 always seems to work well, just because you can rearrange it however you want, as there is no icons that are on the screen. Just need to select save. You want to scroll a bit more down, your unlock animation that's completely up to you but you do want to select hide notification bar as we will not need it because that just will get in the way. If I go back now and go into my advanced settings you do want to have widget overlap enabled pretty much always have it enabled for whatever lock screen you may be using it always comes in handy and for home helper this always comes in handy if say for example you've got your menu buttons and you push the menu button and it unlocks your phone, you just need to have these three enabled, your home helper component, home helper block home, and then finally block home and other apps. And then finally, this seemed to help for me is if I disable the stock lock screen, that always seemed to help because for some reason when with my Nexus 5, I'd unlock my phone and then it just bring me up into my stock lock screen and it just got quite annoying. So that is all of your widget locker settings complete. If you go back now, it should be completely blank. We're going to have a blank canvas now, perfect for adding in our Zupa widgets. 
great. So I'm just going to be adding in one zip widget, and it, of course the second one will be exactly the same. I'm just going to hold down on the lock screen right now, select widgets, and scroll all the way to the bottom to Zoop Widget Pro. Does not matter what size you go for as it is not one big enough. Maybe a 7x2 but as you can see it is still pretty tiny. I'm just going to hold down on it, select resize. Let's see, get it to the bottom here. I think it looks pretty good but you can always resize it. You want to select the hand right now. Select your SD card because remember we saved it, those Zoop Widget files into that templates folder. Scroll down to the bottom and you want to select the theme lock image iOS one. Now you don't want to have Rabrot's mugshot right here, you want to select your own. So if you select your layout right now, and if you see the fourth module right here, it says tap to replace the image. Good guy Rabrot, pretty much helped you out there because now you know what to do. If you select it, scroll a bit to the bottom, you'll see the option here that says bitmap. What this allows you to do now is to change it to your own specific image, whatever that may be. Now you can make it round, I guess that makes it a lot easier. And I always recommend the, the app photo editor as you can just pretty much crop it and it makes it perfectly round like that. So I'm just going to select it like this. Maybe just scale it up a bit, make it a bit bigger. And you can just reposition it so it looks pretty good. But I quite enjoy that and I can just select back now. I'm not going to touch any of the other settings, I'm just going to go back. You're always welcome to go now if you're happy the way that it is is to go into your widget on tap action in the main settings and to select disabled. There's another way to do this but let's just see what that looks like. That looks pretty awesome. Now instead of just disabling it, say if you want to make some later changes, you can always just hold down on the widget and select block clicks and it does exactly the same thing. However, you can always just hold down on it again and select unblock clicks if you want to make some changes. Now we're just going to be adding in the widget at the top here but I'm just going to skip through that because it's exactly the same process but you don't have to make any changes. Great, so I just added in the second Zooper widget like that. I just had to do some resizing and it looked all good. So the last thing that we need to do is to add in an unlock button over here that's going to cover this image. So in order to do that, we simply have to hold down on your lock screen, select custom slider. So once this option opens, you want to select your unlock green unlock button here, swipe it to the right, select disabled, select this gray sound icon, swipe it to the left, select disabled, and now select this middle button. From here you want to select your widget locker actions, select the unlock option, and from here all you have to do is to change this icon. So you select the icon tab, go into your gallery, and from here you just need to find a blank PNG that don't worry, I'll provide one in the zip file. So you just need to select it, don't have to do any cropping because it is transparent, and there is your custom slider complete. You just need to select done, now you can always double check that it works by selecting the image and there it is, brings you back to your home screen, how cool is that? So let us just double check that it works once again, just going to lock the screen and then unlock it and then there it is. So bam, it works, it looks amazing. So thank you very much guys for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also don't forget to check out our various social communities, we're on Google+, Facebook, Twitter and even Instagram. So you definitely want to go and check those communities out. Also don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema Beta, the one that you see currently before you here, as we've just added in category support, which is awesome. And as always, it's just one click, see a theme that you really enjoy, click apply, and it does all the setup for you, and within seconds you can have an amazing looking Android lock screen with ease. But other than that, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel, and as always, don't stop customizing.